Okay, I'm Mickey Lane, and I'd like to talk to you about subject matter experts. How many of you work with subject matter experts? Yeah, a lot of us do work with subject matter experts. One of the things that I've found with working with subject matter experts is that when you ask them what a new performer needs to know how to do in order to do their job effectively, they'll start to tell you everything they ever learned in their whole life. Now, somehow we have to pare that back a little bit because we're not going to be able to include that in all the intervention. And one of the tools that we use is something called, with apologies to Kino Reeves, the matrix. And in the matrix, we ask one question, one very straightforward question. If we do not include this material, this content in that intervention, what is the chance that the learner or the performer is going to make an error? And if they do, what are the consequences of that error? Is it going to be tough for them? Is it going to be tough for the organization? If you find that both of these are high, then you better include that topic or that content in the intervention. If one is high and one is low, you make the decisions as to whether or not it's going to be critical. If they happen to be both low, in other words, if no chance for error or very minimal chance for error and the consequence of that error is very low, this is a good opportunity to take some content out of the intervention. Now, that is, of course, unless you've got some regulatory or certification issues, you better include that in as well. We found by using this matrix, we've been able to drop out between 35 and 40 percent of the content that the subject matter expert originally said was critical for that intervention. Thank you.